Hi, I'm Ryan Stewart, the Product Manager for Brackets. I wanted to take a second to show off one of the cool things that we have in the latest release, Release 43, that I think showcases what we're planning for the future as we really start to dive into preprocessor workflows. One of the things that Brackets has been great at is innovative features that help you design in the browser, as well as see the code as it relates to each other using things like inline editors. But unfortunately, until this latest release, when you were using technologies like LESS or SAS, that workflow broke down. We could handle HTML and CSS files very well, but if you were using preprocessors, we didn't handle that as well and you couldn't use some of the innovative features of Brackets. Well, as of release 43, that has changed. Now, when I come over and select a class and open an inline editor on it using Command E, not only will I see the CSS files, but I'll also now see the .scss files that describe that definition. So now I can jump directly to the SCSS files and edit the definitions there inside of the inline editors instead of having to browse to my CSS files and figure out which SCSS file is defining that rule. The other thing that now works in SCSS files and less files is the jump to definition feature. So now if I click jump to definition, it's going to bring up all of the properties there for that specific file. And if I go to a file that has some nested properties, or nested definitions, and go to jump to definition, I can see those nested, nested elements right alongside my quick definition list. So I can see which properties are nested, and if I select one of these, it'll jump right to that nested definition. The other thing that we've added is that when you're using Live Preview and you have Live Highlight enabled, which lets you select a class and it'll show you inside the browser where that class is being applied, you can now use that with less and SCSS files. So let me bring my Live Preview window over here and resize my main editor window. And as I select elements or select CSS definitions inside the SCSS file, it's going to highlight those in the browser. So here I'll select the link headline, and you can see that blue highlight over there. My blog post can highlight. So now I can see exactly how my preprocessor files are being applied to my HTML files inside of Live Preview. We're really excited to be able to support some of these innovative workflows with preprocessors, and there's a lot more coming in future releases of Brackets. For right now, if you grab the release 43 of Brackets from Brackets.io, you'll have all the features that I showed you for less files and also for .scss files if you're using SAS. Thank you very much, and we're looking forward to sharing more.